Hello guys, I'm back with another video and I'm going to talk about the new truck driver Heading North DLC. If it'll let me, I'll play just a few seconds of this clip because I don't want any copyright strikes or anything. But here we go. There might not be any sound with this, just to let you know. Welcome to Mangakia, Island of Industry. So, uh, I want to go back. Hopefully, that piece right there will be a Hidden Places DLC 2.0. So we'll be able to go and see that place. A breathtaking scene. There is so much to explore. But remember, and if you go back. Even this one, they finally, assuming it works correctly, they finally gotten that roundabout working. If you remember from the very first map, if you watch uh, Game Tech UK's videos from almost two years ago, you will see that there was plenty of roundabouts in the original map. But the AI, for whatever reason, couldn't navigate that correctly. So they revamped the entire map before the game came out, if I'm not mistaken. But remember, you're here to work. This is no vacation. I love that nice church right there. To rest up, it will soon be time to start heading north. So, uh... While it's not on the Nintendo Switch yet, the newest update, if you go into the, where it gives you the list of jobs, well, the list of clients, there's about four or five empty slots there. And we're thinking that those will be for the new clients. I can't show you because I don't have uh, the update on the Switch yet. It hasn't came out yet. But I like the trailer, you know, but showing off a trailer and having everything work the way it should work is two different things. Uh, you've known that since the get-go, Truck Driver has had plenty of missteps. They fix one thing, they break this. They fix that, they break something else. They fix that thing, they break something else. They try to revamp stuff and they mess this up or X, Y, Z. They try to bring in new vehicles, which nobody asks for. The things people do ask for, they're not bringing into the game. So it's just been one big mess for almost two years now. Uh, and they still keep blaming the original developer. That's one thing that just irritates me the most. They continue to blame the original developer every time something happens. You know, that's unprofessional and I wish they would stop doing it. But maybe because they're, they're uh, the second developer team, Kaku, they're based out of somewhere in South America. Hopefully because they're building this particular map, they'll have a bit of a leg up on what they're doing, but I really don't trust them, to be honest, to not screw this up. And I'm thinking, because I seriously doubt you'll be able to go from the old map to this new map seamlessly, I'm thinking that there'll either be a tunnel to mask as a loading screen or a ferry boat to mask as a loading screen or something like that. Uh, you know, if I'm wrong, then you can go from point A to point B with no loading screen whatsoever. But I seriously doubt that. But uh, I just, I honestly, I don't have any faith that this new map will be any different as far as them fixing bugs or 
you know, in a timely manner without breaking something else. And I, to be honest, like I said, I'm not a developer. I'm not a developer, so I don't know how that stuff works. But I do wish there was plenty of things on the old map that they could open up. You know, there's a lot of barriers to roads that doesn't make any sense. Why are those blocked off? But, you know, maybe in due time they'll go back to the old map and open it back up. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a heading south map that'll open up some avenues on the old map, you know. But those are just my thoughts on the new map. Till next time, guys.